You're watching Utah's number one news channel. This is 2 News at Noon. This is a developing story on 2 News. Welcome back to 2 News at Noon. We are tracking down the latest information on a developing story. Investigators are still combing through a field where a 12-year-old girl was found dead this morning. And police say the girl had left her home early in the morning and reported missing, then her body was discovered just hours later. We have live team coverage of this developing story for you this afternoon. We have Dan Rascone in the neighborhood of the girl finding out how the community is dealing with loss. But first, uh, we're going to go to uh, Jeremy Harris here. He's been on the scene all morning long. And Jeremy, the, the latest information is a person of interest. Right, Ron, as we have learned in the last half an hour, police now have a person of interest that they are questioning in connection with this case. It was about one o'clock this morning that some officers at a 7-Eleven were flagged down by a mom saying she needed help finding her daughter who had gone missing. That is when this led ultimately to a very gruesome discovery. Police now looking to see if this person of interest may be this girl's killer. We had a mother that approached two of our officers indicating that her uh, daughter was missing. A mother looking for her 12 year old daughter pleads for help from police to find her missing girl. From that point, officers sent out the alert and they started a search of the immediate area surrounding this uh, girl's home in the 7 Eleven area. After tracking the girl's cell phone, the officers came to this wooded area a few blocks from the girl's home. They narrowed their search down to this area where they discovered what appeared to be a crime scene, and not too far from that crime scene is where they discovered the girl's body. The body Body police say had signs of trauma and they immediately suspected foul play. We want to do the most thorough investigation possible. We have a very serious crime here. We have a very serious situation. Investigators remained on scene all Friday morning trying to figure out who is responsible for the shocking death of the young girl. We'll also be going through the neighborhoods, canvassing the neighborhoods, talking to people. We want to know if you heard anything, if you saw anything. These bits of information are critical to us. Now, just as police are learning more information about this person of interest in this case, we are also learning that information. They have been ke keeping us very up to date with the developments on this case, obviously just because it was so shocking that a 12 year old girl in the middle of the night killed in this field. Now, at they, they, police are serving a search warrant. We have Dan Rascone, who is live at that house. Dan, what's going on over there? Yeah, Jeremy, as you can see here behind me right now, we've got the yellow tape up here that surrounding this particular home. This is the person of interest that they are talking about as far as they took this person of interest into custody. According to his mother, who Amy Nace are, spoke to just a short time ago, apparently she's saying that she, she just her son just got out of drug court uh, a, a short time ago. He's 15 years old. That's who was taken into custody. She's very upset about what's happened here. She says there's no evidence against her son. But again, there's still a lot of unclear information out there. The investigation continues. Meanwhile, a neighborhood just a short distance away from us here in complete shock. That's where the girl lives that suddenly went missing and now she's found dead. It's very shocking. Like, it's crazy that something happened that close to home. It's horrible. I never believe it's such a quiet neighborhood. A West Valley neighborhood in disbelief over the murder of a 12 year old girl. A girl who lives here at this home now being watched over by a single police car. On the front door is a sign asking that the media respect their privacy. According to neighbors, the family moved in less than a year ago and kept to themselves. The 12 year old was often seen walking up and down the street with her sister. She seemed happy and kind, but everyone we spoke with didn't know her personally. Even these teenage girls who live just a few houses away say they never got to know her. Murder, murder has now changed them. Definitely be more aware and like careful, have my eyes open a lot. It's just so scary and like shocking that it would happen like so close to home and I'm just gonna be like more like protective and not like, I guess, go out late by myself. And back live here, just a short distance away from where that girl lives, where they've taken into custody. A person of interest is what they're saying. Again, according to the person's mom here, it's a teenage boy who she says had nothing to do with this. But at the same time here, police say they're just looking at him as a person of interest, not calling him a suspect. Still don't know exactly what the relationship may be there, if they know each other, what happened. But apparently she went willingly last night at midnight, the approval of her parents. She left her house 
never returned, and now she was found dead early this morning. Ron and Mary, back to you. Okay, still more pieces to the puzzle. Thanks, Dan. Yeah.